Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is my uh, third year as a mentor uh, with Tech Wildcatters, and it's actually O2Works' third year sponsoring Pitch Day. Um, so I wanted to thank you all for being here. Um, in three years, I've been able to see the, um, basically the benefits that the class members get from being part of a program like Tech Wildcatters. Uh, but they're not the only ones that benefit. Uh, Tech Wildcatters has managed to bring in great technologists and business people and entrepreneurs to Dallas, where they're going to build their businesses, hire people, create jobs, and work with locally headquartered companies. <clears throat> so with that in mind, um, our next speaker, Scott, was managing Colorado.gov when he realized there were a lot of problems with how you handle payments. How do you process payments? And dealing with payments is a giant pain. So with that, I'd like to introduce Scott Galvin from Raspberry. Thanks, Mark. I'm Scott Galvin with Raspberry. We've got um, a problem in the payment industry that's $90 billion in size. I used to work for Apple, then Motorola, then Sun, and as Mark mentioned, Colorado.gov, where I implemented secure payment acceptance for 40 government websites and became really intimate with the problems that businesses are facing today and we're building something to solve those problems. I'm going to walk you through them. Customers are sitting on a Trojan horse of cardholder information on their back ends. Just talk to Home Depot, Target, Jimmy John's, Dairy Queen, Salad Beauty Supply, the list goes on. That's one of the problems. Another one is regulatory compliance problems, processing fees, uh, delays in funding, because it takes lots of time for money to move after you uh, charge a credit card as a business owner. And right now, retailers are blind as to who their customers are. Raspberry solves those problems. We're a secure payment system that eliminates the problem of breaches by not transferring financial information from consumers to the businesses they buy from. Uh, we eliminate the need for regulatory compliance such as PCI compliance and monitoring. We're cheaper, we're less expensive. Uh, we move funds the same day and we provide companies with anonymized aggregate information about their customers. We can tell them how far on average somebody's traveling to come to their business. That's really important to 7-Eleven, for example, when you're trying to figure out where you need to put your next uh, retail location. We can tell you the uh, average age of your customer, all sorts of good stuff. For consumers, we've got an app that is toaster simple to use. It's available today for Android and Apple device owners. Keep in mind that every time that a customer uses a credit card, they put themselves at risk of identity theft. We've eliminated that. Our application works by connecting to one of these 16 banks. We added one of them yesterday. I'm excited about that. We transfer money between these banks to other banks using our app. And these 16 banks cover 75% of consumers in the United States. Oftentimes, I'm asked about Apple Pay and PayPal. With Apple Pay, uh, you're limited to just payments on iPhones. We're available on every platform. We're adding a new platform every other month. Also, with Apple Pay, you can take a picture of anybody's credit card and then use that somewhere else where Apple Pay is accepted. You can't do that with our app. Um, with PayPal, we've made purchasing easier. Next month, we're enabling website owners to sell items to consumers with our app with just two taps. You go to the website, you identify yourself, your phone buzzes, you tap pay, the money moves the same day. It's a lot easier. We've also eliminated the holding account that PayPal has. So as a business owner, when you receive funds with PayPal, you then have to transfer those funds from PayPal to your account. Ours flows right through to your business checking account. We're less expensive because we're unencumbered by the 50 years of technical debt that the credit card networks are based upon because we don't use credit cards. We're building our own payment system. 
we're focused on disrupting the payments industry and we're working to lower this rate every day. Our target market is small businesses uh, such as these in five different categories, retail, restaurants, transportation, uh, business services, airlines, travel, um, co-working places. We've got an awesome team. I'm Scott Galvin. We've got Tony Johnson back in Denver. We've got Christine Sepelak joining us. You can meet her at the booth. We've got Tarun. It's Tarun's 23rd birthday. As you come back to the booth today, tell him happy birthday. I'm excited you came to work today. We're raising a seed round for 18 months of runway for uh, six employees. We're going to focus primarily on sales and marketing, IP and development. We're very fortunate to have Mike Debner, formerly of Seven Ventures, 7-Eleven's VC arm on our board, joined by Raylene Vining, who formerly was the Director of Operations for Colorado.gov. And I wouldn't be here today without Mark and Dennis, Ray, Michael, and Jay, who've made this possible. I'm Scott Galvin. I'd love for you to use Raspberry. Please come on back. I'll see you soon. Thanks.